Oh, the level of stress. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. And welcome to another new series here on the Chanel, my lovelies. Don't tell the bride. Oh, dear God. So, my lovelies, I've been looking for a wedding show. I've been having a little look through the annals, through the archives, through the comments about what sort of wedding TV show I should do. Wedding. I didn't think I would actually be doing, like, specific dedicated wedding content here on the Chanel, but I recently re-watched Bridal Plastic, and I know that was kind of about plastic surgery. But also the kind of concepts about weddings is just bonkers to me. So, my lovelies, what is Don't Tell the Bride? I actually have a bit of a run-in with this show myself. Is it this show or is it Say Yes to the Dress? It might have been Say Yes to the Dress, actually. When I publicly announced that I was in a relationship with my boyfriend, a producer from one of those shows, I think it was this one, might have been that one, reached out to me and was like, oh my God, are you getting married? Why don't you come on, say yes to the dress or don't tell the bride, whatever it was. And I was like, no. And they would not take no for an answer. They kept coming in contact. And I was like, it's not gonna happen, sis. It's not gonna happen. No, thanks. I choose my own destiny. So let's talk about weddings, shall we? Personally, I'm never gonna get married. The whole engagement, wedding, ceremony, like, what? Uh, no, it's not for me. I can fully understand that other people, it's like a big event in their lives. And it also brings like lots of legal benefits alongside like social benefits. And like, I guess the way of being able to say, I love you in front of a room of everyone. Oh, that's terrible. Thank you. It's not for me, no. So aside from all of those aspects that I've just mentioned, it's actually an incredibly <laughs> Expensive day and so much so that there's an entire industry devoted to weddings I've worked in weddings as a makeup artist. I've been to my fair share of weddings So don't tell the bride is a British reality TV series that started in 2007 right shall I describe this to you shall I okay right the premise of this series surrounds couples being awarded money to fund their wedding ceremony because obviously they're very expensive you know however every aspect of the ceremony must be organized by the groom. Oh, wow. scandalous. And with no contact at all with the bride. You can imagine, can't you, that there's actually quite a lot of drama in this show. So while I trust the men in my life to organize something quite good and quite well, I have had men in my life previously that I would not want to organize anything because just incapable it would seem. <laughs> With that being said, we've all seen those TikToks going around or those Instagram reels where there's like a couple and an interviewer will ask the wife like, oh, when's your children's birthdays? What's the name of your children's doctors? When's your anniversary? Like all these key important dates and like really eye to detail questions. And then ask the husband and the husband's like, I don't know. I don't know, uh, I, I don't know. And quite frankly, it is embarrassing. But with that being said, I do feel like it could make quite excellent, enraging reality TV. Get your beverage at the ready today. I am on the Pepsi Max, my lovelies, because I don't have any monster in the house and I don't want to go outside because I have to go out soon and I don't want to do all that. So grab yourself your beverage. Make sure you're sitting down comfortable, my lovelies. Grab your little Ohrhanger and pop it right into your little bridal heart. And let's watch. Don't tell the wig. Oh. Inspector Gadget. But he's a woman. Oh. Don't tell the bride. Oh wow, what an intro that was. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. That was that was like Beautiful. Speechless. Oh my God, look at 2007 houses. This would have been one house. And they would have had a median income of like eight pence. Can I hear anything? Is the volume? Today, Katie is leaving her home Katie, in Surrey you've and got moving to love Katie. in with her chief bridesmaid 150 miles away in Leicester. Right. I just got you loads and loads and loads and loads of junk food, actually. Right, but why can't a man For the first himself? time in his life, male nurse Sam will be living alone and fending for himself. Sam is... This is the way this series is going to go, isn't it, my loves? It's going to be like, this man who somehow made it to 30... is going to be living by himself for the first time without a woman nearby to make sure he eats his bass of fillets and rice. Oh, okay, right, hold your tongue, Lux. Hold your tongue. Sam isn't so good at organising things or planning things. Right, so that's why he's got to organise a wedding. Because <laughs> you're oh. useless. <laughs> right, that's one, two, three. Okay, How much cool. do you reckon you need? 
Katie's family have given Sam £2,000 towards the wedding, so he's got a total budget of 14 grand, and he's only got four weeks to pull it off. Wait, what? So did the show give them 12 grand and his family and friends have given him two? Is that what he said? Hang on, let me... Katie's family have given Sam £2,000 towards the wedding, so he's got a total budget of 14 grand, right. and he's only got four weeks to pull it off. Right, OK. I reckon you're a good girl. I reckon I might just marry you. This is Sam's chance to prove he's... Oh, there's something quite icky about, like, handing a man money and then he's like, good girl. Ew, Michelle. Like, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I hate that. Oh, stop that immediately. I'm calling the police. The best husband Katie could ever wish for. Right, she takes a lot of control when it comes to organising things. So I'm kind of hoping that it might give her... I'm not saying she doesn't respect me for being so disorganised at the moment, but maybe she will have a bit more respect for me if I can pull this off. Yes, OK. I don't think it's, like, it's not wrong quality to have to be a bit disorganised. Like, everyone is a little bit. I'm happy about leaving for four weeks, in all honesty. So four I'm weeks? Don't spend That's a long time. Hard. The most important thing is that we get to get married. Oh, setting and if standard. We have to... Right, so I guess he's got to organise things like the venue, the dress, the decorations, the guests, the seating plan, the food, the theme, I guess, like what it's actually going to look like, the cars, loads of things go into a wedding, the makeup artist, of course me, just like, hello, yes, your husband actually wants you to look like... A single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. It's in a slightly less conventional way. Right. Ooh, then that? I'm prepared to Ooh. do it. But is she really prepared for what will happen? When no, she of course she isn't. That's why she's on television. Oh, you broke my opera glasses. However, well, I see the scandal now. How is it, boy? <laughs> friends, what are you doing here? Hello. Sam's best man and childhood friend Bestie. Eddie is here to help. Eddie. He and best woman Haley have also agreed to keep the wedding plans a secret from Katie. Okay. But Eddie's a kitchen fitter by trade. Not a wedding planner. Right. If Sam got the day wrong, I think he'd never hear the end of it from Kate at all. She'd probably cut his knackers off. <laughs> oh, it is quite amusing. Oh, dear remnants of an evening before. Uh, we're drunk. Really drunk. It is quite amusing. Back in, like, the day, 2007, 2006, 2005, that sort of time, TV still had such a pull on people that people would get kind of a little bit starstruck when they were on TV. I feel like interview sections, if you hadn't had media training or if you weren't used to being in front of a camera, was actually quite a jarring experience. Like, I'm incredibly comfortable talking on camera right now. I have been for the last 16 years, since about 2007, actually. <laughs> it is kind of fascinating to see people who perhaps don't have that skill set learnt yet, try and talk in an exciting, engaging way, because this interview... The day wrong, I think he'd never hear the end of it from Kate He's all. very, like, doesn't know where to look, doesn't know what to do with his hands, doesn't know how to hold himself. But that's quite common, I think, for this day and age, and it's kind of interesting to look back and see that, because now I feel like everyone, everyone who's got an ounce of social media, something about them, has, like, a way of interacting with cameras. Knowing how high Katie's expectations are, oh. Sam's already worrying about money. The budget that Katie would want for her ideal wedding would be... probably double what we've got at the moment. I mean, you're looking at at least 30. Oh. We've got 14. Oh. So... Oh. Oh. £30,000 on a single day in your life. Weddings are a big money-making machine. And the idea that someone would spend 30 grand on a single day event, really, and all you really have from that day is maybe the dress, maybe some photos, maybe a video. Of course you have the memories as well, but isn't it one in two marriages lead to divorce? So the idea that like people might spend multiple Multiple 30Ks in their life getting married is wild to me. And I've got four weeks. <laughs> four weeks and he's got 14. Even 14 grand is a lot. Top of Sam's list, the dress. So it's off to a posh boutique in Chelsea. Oh! Boutique in Chelsea. Are you that sort? Flower on the back's all right, isn't it? And it's not just money that's an issue. Right. How do you buy a dress for a woman who isn't there? She likes sparkly. Oh stuff. my God, <laughs> tea. He's persuaded a fellow nurse, who he thinks is roughly Katie's size, to model for him. You know Does he not know what size his fiance is? I bet she would have talked about clothes to him before. 
and like measurements and things. Talked about like, oh, this looks nice on me. I thought it fit, it's the size blah. You know, like people just have those conversations. Do you not pick up? Pick up! Instead of maybe bringing just a random lady that kind of looks like the same size. So in this case, he's actually buying this lady a wedding dress. Whose pussy is this? Mm. I've no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. I should know what Katie wants. Yes. Because she's been talking about it for Years, over probably. a year. There you go. <laughs> so why don't but you know? I've done my usual and kind of switched off a bit when she's talking about the wedding. Because men don't like their girlfriends, <laughs> apparently so. Oh, it's so cringe, isn't it? Imagine not knowing anything about your partner. Like this big day that clearly they're very invested in and they've talked about for years. And you're like, I haven't even listened to a single piece of information about that. No. I'm gonna try to hold my tongue a little bit though because this show is designed to make you feel like that. It's designed to get those hooks into you to be like, look at this silly man being stupid. I would really like two different styles and two different dresses and two different venues, which is totally spoiled. But yes. um, <laughs> I have to do everything bigger and better, don't I? Why are we looking at that picture of that child in a plaid bodysuit? Play suit? Um, <laughs> I have to do everything Bigger and better, don't I? That's very, I can see this outfit worn on like a fashion Pennywise. <laughs> I was the world's first supermodel. Right, so she wants two of everything. Sure, I mean, it's your day, do what you want. If you want to spend the money, you can. She want, uh, I think, because we want two themes, one for the actual ceremony and one for the evening, but I think I'm going to be struggling really with funds to do that, yes. to be honest with you. Okay. Katie's always liked dressing up. And I think she will see this wedding day as her chance to shine, the, the biggest day of any bride's life. But she will relish the idea of dressing up and being okay. the centre of attention for that. So that kind of comes across to me. I can imagine back in like 2007 when like social media as it is now isn't really a thing. It's kind of like the biggest ultimate like single Hollywood show business style day, I guess which would make sense, wouldn't it? Because nowadays, every single industry has been kind of transformed by social media. Me, as a wedding makeup artist, back in 2011, 2012, I was not doing the same type of makeup as I was a few years ago for people. So I can imagine that the, the way that people think about weddings has also kind of shifted. Like now I can almost imagine it as like a feature event that you would want to put on social media. Like if I think of any influencer weddings, it's all very like, almost like a TV show. Oh, getting the wedding bells out here today, got bridal plastic stab. If I feel that the dress is horrible or it doesn't flatter my figure, there, there could be tears. Yes, I don't think I would want anyone to shop today. Dress number one oh, is a snip at £2,000. Maybe. I'll have a look at another one, though. The next dress goes up to two and a half thousand pounds. Ooh. That looks more wedding -y, definitely. Very wedding. This experience is really odd. Well, I just it said... is because right, it's a woman's job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and dress number three... But that looks nice. That does look nice, actually. <sighs> just a little question, then. How <laughs> <are you>? <laughs> <laughs> Well... Have you picked one of the most expensive dresses in the shop? Probably, yes. Yes, and this one is about 3,000. Oh. Have you got anything a little bit cheaper? <laughs> <laughs> Don't use the word cheap. You can't go to a luxury boutique in Chelsea and go, cheap. Have you got cheap? Have you got cheap? If you're going to go to these establishments, you have to use the language. You have to say things like, well, the budget can reach a maximum of this much money. Any sort of negotiations we can engage in around that funding will be great. Business, sis. Think business. I'm a professional woman. Also throw in a, it'll be on TV for good measure. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. The only Thank you. dress Sam liked was a thousand pounds more than he budgeted. Right. Oh, sorry, has he turned up to a wedding? Was a thousand pounds more than he budgeted. Has he turned up to a wedding shop in Chelsea in a bright yellow t-shirt and cargo trousers? Even his, like, friend has worn, like, a v-neck and jeans and his, like, lady friend here who was like, oh, the same sort of size as my fiancé is wearing, like, formal wear? She's got a shirt and, like, tailored pants on. He has to hope he can save money I on the bridesmaids' outfits. Maybe How's he's going? just some like little himbo sugar baby. <laughs> he's invited the bridesmaids, Haley and his sister Gemma, down from Leicester Hayley to meet him Gemma. at a chain store in Oxford Street. Okay. Come on out, ladies. See what you look like. Store. It's, it's that was not our colour, basically. <laughs> 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 Bit at twelve for me. Come on, I'm on foot. <laughs> That's perfect. 
I think that's good. But I think well. it's really flattering as well. Yeah. Just out of interest, how much are they? They've just gone into sale. They've gone so into sale. The skirts down from 150 to 75. Perfect. Oh, These nice. are really nice. I really like this. That is. I'm liking that. Okay. The bridesmaids are happy, but it's what Katie will think that matters. Does she like beige? Oh, everybody listen. Interview in the stairwell. Look at these bridesmaid dresses. They're going to be a bit, bit too showy, isn't it? And they're going to like mean that Katie's not going to stand out as much as she could do. I'm just making this complicated. Let me go and have a word and just see what she reckons. Oh right. yes! Don't upstage the bride. Don't wear white to a wedding. No. Also, don't really wear black. But don't tell me what to do. <laughs> there are so many rules and like social norms to a wedding, aren't there? I cannot stop fanning about with my hair today. Stop faffing. Stop it, that's serious. Stop! Arrest her! Change of plan. Just Change? Possibly. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to get you to try some of the dresses on. Why? Because I really, really love this dress. So do I. These are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> G give me your reasoning behind it. I can't, I can't give you a reason right now. But just trust me. Why can't he be honest? You can stop looking at me like that. <laughs> We've got to wear these dresses, Sam, and we've got to feel comfortable in them. Yeah. And we do. We feel very comfortable in these. You might also feel comfortable in these ones as well. Oh! I don't know. What do you think of this one? That's more showy! I am not wearing this dress. Why not? Because it's yellow. Let's have a look. Let it me... is awful. Oh, it's... Yeah, I don't like the crepe paper bottom. It's not very wedding. Wedding! Not happy, Hayley. Wedding! You put me in things that make me look like a fat banana. Katie would hate to have yellow. Does he know Choose what her favourite colour is? I wear whatever you want, but don't expect me to be happy about it. It's important that I don't feel stressed on my wedding day. Oh! I know it's not exactly what you want. Oh! But for the day, and it is Katie's day at the end of the day, isn't it? <gasps> yeah, but. You see, this man, again, he's turned up shopping in a hoodie. I don't think he quite gets the concept of everyone needs to feel comfortable and look their best. Like, sure, this is a wedding day, this is Katie's wedding day, but, like, she's gonna want everyone to remember it and have a wonderful time and be like, oh my God, do you remember Katie's wedding? Oh, wasn't it great? She looked great, we all looked great, it was lovely. Do you wanna be like, oh yeah, do you remember Katie's wedding? I felt like shit the whole day. I don't think Katie will like it. Dear. Oh dear. I don't think it's what she's expecting. Oh! I'm worried he's getting it all wrong. Weak tea. I thought this would be a lot easier than this. Why? Why did you think organising a wedding would be easy? Yeah. What about weddings says reacts, easy? Like, these two are reacting now. <sighs> oh! What's this from? Organising a wedding da, is a full-time occupation. Da, da. But Sam uh, still has to do his day younger? job. From morning. A nurse. After the morning shift, there's more work to be done. Wedding work. Wedding. A he wedding. He set aside £3,000 for venue hire. Right, venue. the ones he thinks Katie will like are all stately homes. Of course. With stately price tags. Of course. He'll have to haggle. What it costs. My absolutely favourite style is, is Rococo or um, Baroque. Kind of wow. like Louis the Sixteenth French style. I know she wants it in a, a large sort of house. She's got an expensive um, taste. That's about as far as my year's worth of training has got me, really. <laughs> <sighs> Are you taking the pace? <laughs> I would like silver and white, and I would like a room with a, a big cut silver crystal white chandelier. Looks good for your undertones. Um, and I would like to have white flowers and I would probably like to sprinkle little crystals over the table. Yeah, I could I could mess up. <laughs> oh, what he's if not something know awful happens? That, he? Like he organizes he? the room and it's absolutely beautiful, but then he forgets to get chair covers and the chairs are red. Well, we'll have to wait and see about all that, won't we? Because we're gonna have it in a farm. Stowe, the former gardens of the Duke of Buckingham. Ooh, the Buckingham. <laughs> Hello, ready? <laughs> yeah. Right, silver and white, so we've immediately not got that. I'll get rid of the spiders, though. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I need to get rid of these, definitely, as long as they're not welded to the, to the floor, which they're not, so... But Sam is quoted almost £5,000. Isn't this a bit like... It's stately, sure, but it's not Baroque or Rococo. This isn't like a fancy house. This is like museum. A or... dead body. It's just a bit steep. Five yeah. grand. So he would have had three grand on the dress, okay, five grand on that, eight grand of 14. Got every penny, you know what I mean? Let's go very fast. <laughs> Next stop, Claydon House, the 18th century home of the Verney family. This is more like it. This is much more like nice. it. Now, there's, there's not many people that can say they, they're getting married in an 18th century interior, so it depends whether you're into um, the, the splendours of the Rococo. Katie, yes. my um, fiancé mentioned Rococo. I do remember that. Oh! Uh, this, is, this is what it is. This is Rococo. It's, it's all sort <laughs> of he not know natural what looking. It's sort of you birds had the internet. and... S and C scrolls, very, very much like something that's grown out of the ground and surrounded flourishes, all these niches. Lots of flourishes, um, lots it's, of expensive It's designed to be free-flowing and, and very natural. Katie would be happy with a Rococo room, but Sam's got a few ideas of his own. Oh, don't have to make it. Hoping to have a little barbecue outside. Um, not really. Um, there are very strict guidelines on, on not having naked flames within 20 metres of the vicinity of historic houses, and this is a Grade 1 listed building, I'm afraid. All right, lovely to meet you, yeah, Sam. Um, the woman was too stunned to speak. Can we have a barbecue? Sure. Sometimes I do feel like some of these... Like, maybe that was production or something being like, and what would you like to have happen at this establishment? Would you like to share some of your own ideas? Because I can't imagine he'd, be, he'd see this beautiful place and be like, do you know what? Barbecue. Yeah, let's all have a barbie outside. I hope yeah. you give us... Barbe a barbecue at your wedding? If you're getting catering... Barbecue? Oh, I don't understand. Some serious consideration. It's, it's a wonderful will, venue. Yeah. It's just so almost. You know, like the last one, it was like almost perfect. Almost had it just right. I but wonder then, what you know, would be perfect for price. Him. And then this one, almost right. But it is his day as well, I, want I guess. A bit of land. That's what we kind of do have to remember, I guess, is that this is actually for a wedding. It's not just the bride's day, but I think quite a lot of the time it does come down to what the bride wants, the bride gets. I feel like that's what the industry is aimed towards. I'm being greedy. Oh, no, really, but... Are you? I mean, I've got another place to see today, haven't I? I've got Ragley Hall to go and see. So, I mean, maybe that would be Hall. even better. Katie is living in Leicester, okay. the chief Same. bridesmaid Hayley. While separated from her oh, soulmate look at that. Sam, Sofa. she's bonding with Hayley's seven-year-old daughter, oh. Megan. Mm, Megan. Not Megan, she's going to get you. <laughs> Have somebody that much. You want to marry her? You just want to tell the whole world how much you love them. Mm. I, That's a nice way to well, do I've it. I've got a boyfriend at the moment, but I'm not sure whether I'll marry him or not. No, it's probably a bit early to say, isn't it? Mm. How many boyfriends have you ever had? Um. What's your body count? Really? <laughs> and then you found Sam. And then I met Sam. One day you just kind of like, you just know. I kind of remember that actual moment I decided I I was well, in love with Sam actually. Oh that's sweet. Hey, da, 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 but Sam has yet to find her a dream venue. Okay. We've got to get to this venue. Gotta get moving. Get at five o'clock and we're still on the motorway to try and get to Ragley Hall. Oh, here's um. speedy. <laughs> right here we are. Oh this is quite grand, isn't it? Final appointment of the day. Sam is booked in at the home of the Marquis of Hartford, Ragley Hall. The Marquis of Hartford. It's definitely shut. Someone has got to be in, surely. Nearly three quarters of an hour late for this one. One of these days, I'm going to get my um, assing gear, aren't I? No, probably not. Well, that was a spectacular shut, failure. Actually. Are you just going to break in? <laughs> Ding dong! Hello, I'm really late for my appointment. Would you make an emergency for me? Hello there, welcome to Hi, nice to meet you. And your name is Sam. Events manager Paul takes him on a guided tour. Oh. If you're looking for evening guests or, or guests coming on after the wedding breakfast, then we can either barbecue out here or, of course, do a pig roast, which is really popular as well. So, uh... OK, so that barbecue is a little bit different. If they're doing, like, a big pig roast, that's very, like, medieval feast. And what I had in my mind was, like, Tesco extra on the barbecue, some bacon. I don't know, do you barbecue bacon? As you can see, it will sit your hundred quite easily. 
Oh, 120 yeah. is maximum numbers. This place is massive. <laughs> yeah. So like to... Mind your step. Oh, dead. <laughs> we have to have them there for health and safety. <laughs> <laughs> Ragley Hall has all the baroque Katie could want, and Sam could even have his barbecue. But at five thousand pounds, it would eat up over a third of his budget. It's five k as well. Your budget, so it's um. This place is so much better than that last one that they went to that they also charged five four. So what are these? What are these wedding venues charging? They're just like five grand. Yeah, should we just say five grand? Five grand. Out of your budget. So it's um. More than I was going to spend, to be honest with you. Okay. Okay. What sort of what sort of cost were you thinking of? To be honest with you, um, pff, maximum I was going to be able to afford is three grand. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, well, obviously, I, I can have a look at that for you. I won't, won't just turn you away. Well, if you could look into that, that would be really handy, to be honest with you, because I do like the place. That sure. is half, okay. that's almost half price, though. Radley Hall would have to nearly half their price yeah. to meet his budget. Oh. The stately home he's convinced Katie would love may well be out of his reach. It's a lovely building. It really is a nice building. I wonder if it will Unless work. that guy does something special. <laughs> and kind of weighs his magic wand. I'm not going to be able to afford this at all. Oh, fade to black, and that's when she passed away. <laughs> In Leicester, oh my Katie God. is worried Sam will buy her a simple wedding band, oh, yes. when what she wants is a ring with bling. Hello. Oh. I would suggest to start with something like this, which is a traditional ring set with diamonds. OK. She like, no, that's disgusting. Welcome to the No Pimpia Chanel. You can never have too many diamonds. <laughs> In Surrey, diamonds! Sam's budget means he's got to look for something oh, a little simpler. What sort of budget have you got in mind? Maximum, £20. I'd have probably said 900 for both. That one is uh, £1,895. I'm sorry, 900 for both rings. I don't know if maybe men back in the day, maybe men these days, just don't know how much things cost because it's not like important to them. Maybe they're just a bit like, oh, no, nah, you know, what's it going to be? Like £400 each? So what am I going to sacrifice to get this then? <laughs> White gold, yellow gold, diamond set. I don't know. I have no idea what Katie wants. I really <gasps> haven't got a clue. How can you not know? What about, what about a nice silver wedding ring? Silver? You can't have a silver wedding ring. I wouldn't let you do that, no. We're not looking at... No, I've <laughs> just we're seen the brass sparkle. sparkle. Uh, it's three and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> now, that's 465. And that's platinum, is it? That's platinum. Oh, oh my goodness. That's platinum. Cheers, bye-bye. For 460. 18 carat yellow gold, and there's four carats of diamonds in there. Goodness me. Um, this one's £14,995. <laughs> <laughs> Budgets suck. I hate compromise. Right, I've got to come to a decision. But where now. would you where would you wear a fourteen grand wedding band to? You couldn't just be like, oh, it's just popping into Primark. Diamonds. <laughs> like you couldn't, could you? Mugged. Basically, that one there. As Botine yeah. to Beauty Queen. Sam settles for a white gold wedding band with diamonds for four hundred and seventy-five pounds. <sighs> Jobs are good in. Done. Wouldn't it be boring to never want more than your lot? Maybe I like to dream. But I don't dream so far out of my reach that I know it's totally unobtainable. OK. Everyone likes a bit of delusion, though, don't they? Delulu is sometimes the Delulu. I want that. Why shouldn't I? Oh, dear. She's going to have quite the shock, isn't she? He's dead! <laughs> I wonder if, like, the camera people or the production staff, when they're watching these things unfold, feel like we do. They're literally just like, we are filming a car crash TV right here, right now. Do you think they're ever like, oh, what's going to happen next? Because if I was a producer, I'd 100% be like, what have we done? But then again, I have a soul. <laughs> Somewhere, I don't know what it is. Rotten and black. Bottoms up and the double laps. Back in the real world, Sam's got to keep tabs on every penny he spends. Yes, He's that worked is a out a provisional budget, but has decided to ask Katie's father and stepmother for some financial advice. Right. Unfortunately, the real world and the perfect world for Katie are, are worlds apart. A perfect grand, world a where money is no object and she could have this wonderful day and everything just as she wants it doesn't match up to the fact that unfortunately money's very tight.
Money's, money's always been tight though. Money, when has money never been tight? Right. Never hear anyone say, we've got so much money, we just don't know what to do with it, girls. We're loose with money. I hear that's how she died. Uh, and of course, literally a year after this was filmed or aired, really, the 2008 financial crash happened, so. That was a lovely party, wasn't it? No. Have you all had fun? No. Times Everyone lost money on never everything. On his own. Right, okay, come on. Come on, Sam, do something. We're trying to save money. Trying to save money, so you're overspent already. Overspent by about nearly £1,800 right now. Katie's shoes? Yeah, £50. £50? Yeah, I think that should be enough, shouldn't it? Oh, well, you won't get them for £50. Not mean? unless they're in the sale. How much do you reckon it'll be? Well, I think you ought to double that. <sighs> and quick. then if you're lucky, you'll save a bit. <sighs> OK, fair <laughs> enough. So, you're making it worse. You don't want to be... Marion is quick to spot that a lot of Sam's figures are entirely made up. <sighs> That's just an no. estimate out of my head again, right. I'm afraid. Most of these are, I'm afraid. That could seriously wreck your budget. But they're only rough figures. Well, so are all of these. Yeah. Yeah, I hadn't really thought. I mean, I had no idea. So, should I double that? Well, I... How can you have no idea? How have you never looked at the prices of anything? How do you not know that, like, fancy shoes cost more than 50 pounds? Oh! Oh, it's just painful, isn't it, girls? Because, like, oh, if anybody here has been involved in the wedding industry or even got married, you know there's just price after price after price after price. And this man has just been like, shoes! about 50 pounds maybe how does he not know his wife has quite bougie tastes like she th this this dream of hers won't have just come out of nowhere she would have probably been talking about it for a long time i'm a great fan of you don't have to spend a lot of money to look great you don't have to have like a huge budget to make everything look fantastic you have to have an eye for detail for it i don't think this man has that does he i often think that the wealthiest people in the world that flash their money around have Terrible taste. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Well, I think you need to make a few phone calls and get some yeah, estimates. We really oh. get a, a, a better estimate. Yeah. Don't, don't just automatically do it. You can't it, but... rely on these estimates that are only out of your head. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. I know. It's, 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 it's a strange yeah. way of doing it, I know, but it's, it's, it, it works for yeah. me. Okay. Well, it didn't work. That's the thing. You've you buried your go head. Back to the drawing. <laughs> oh my god, I've just noticed this phone. I had this phone. Ah! Phone. Oh, I miss a flip phone. I love the clamshell. Right, okay. So you need to go back to the drawing board <laughs> and revamp your figures following mm. this. Looks like I've got a bit of work to do, doesn't it? How really? can you not know? You oh, have. it's. <sighs> like, Thank you, man. I think it's fine to not know, but like, if you're gonna get married, if you're gonna have this big event in your life and you've had a year to plan for it already, how have you not, how have you not just like osmosed some of the information? It's not osmosis, because osmosis only works with liquid. Diffused some of the information. Thank, Thank you. Help. Yeah. And, I'll, uh, and don't I'll forget, it's Katie's happiness in your hands. So we're yeah, relying on you. I know, it's a big job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do, Cheers, right, then. Then. They obviously know more about weddings than I do, basically. Yes, and Marion certainly knows more about how much things are going to cost me, and she, uh, in no uncertain terms, told me how much things are going to cost and how I got it wrong. But I mean, uh, it's fair enough, I need to know. But uh, I felt like a little kid, really, in there. To you felt like a little kid in there? Well, of course, because you're behaving like one. I'm being a bit harsh in this one, but I don't know, there's just something specific about like male incompetence that really does something to my spine. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's this this attitude of like, well, it'll be all right in the end. Well, it won't unless somebody makes it all right in the end. You know, that level of naivety, of privilege in a way of being like, well, everyone around me always sorts something out because somehow it's always right in the end. It's like, okay, but if you haven't made it that way, it's not going to happen. So you're either exporting that labor to somebody else or you're going to fail. He's got to put in a lot more mm. work on the mm. fine detail because if you that's start... what Katie yeah. will, will make it everything worthwhile for her. Yeah. I wonder if they like him. Hmm. Oh, what a stressful interaction that was. Oh, bicycles! So, back in Surrey, Sam reworks the budget. OK, well, at least he's taking some steps. He'll be forced to scale back his grand plans. Right. Cool. Is, is that the wife? Like, hello! Just seeing how we are. I'm gonna... It's Paul from Ragley Hall. Oh, hey, what, Paul, what are you doing? Luckily, no-one else yeah, wants yeah. to get married on Friday the 13th. <gasps> so you can do it for three grand? All in, three grand all in, nice one. Nobody okay, wants to get fantastic. married on Friday the 13th. How Great. funny. 
Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, if you just send it out in post, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, cool. All right, cheers, Paul. I'll talk to you later. All right, okay, bye. he's come up smelling of <laughs> roses. <laughs> How cool is that? Paul can do it for three grand. That's absolutely wicked. Bradley Hall. I do kind of find it funny, though, because sometimes this level of naivety can yield really impressive results. And I don't know why that is. I, don't, I think it's if, if you set the bar of your expectations really low for something and something comes in here, whereas if you had your bar set here and here, you'd be like, oh. but if you've had it set here and it comes up here, you're like, wow, amazing. And I think quite a lot of this specific type of person rely on that, don't they? Right, we're peeping at him through the window. Very Davy Wavy. I caught my neighbour masturbating. To save time, he's found a do-it-yourself kit on the internet. Right, and okay. And making them by hand. Okay. So you make this note. Stick that in the card like that, which looks very pretty, apparently. Close it up. Tie it up with a little bit of ribbon. Around the side like that. See? Okay, that's not terrible. Ha, huh, so you're a liar. Great first impression, but his craft skills are letting him down. <gasps> okay, no, 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 no. If you want to try and do something yourself, you need to have a little bit of an eye to like finesse it in a way that looks nice. Like he had massive scissors, just cut it in one go. Cut it in one go. And if you don't have sharp scissors, sharpen the pissing scissors, it's your wedding day. Craft skills are letting him down. The problem is that, can you see it? State of that. I mean, yeah, I'm going for the handmade look, but I mean, that's just ridiculous, isn't it? Yes. Don't you go near. Oh, push it. Oh, out. tie up the kitty. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. She wants to help. This looks exhausting. 30 in the morning to make 60 invitations. 60? And he's still got to catch the first post the next day. He's not just posting them. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. He put them in envelopes. I was like, oh, God. Oh, the milkman. Do you remember him? Dead now. Sam decides that his priority with. today is to search for Katie's wedding lingerie. Eddie's certainly not going to miss a chance to rummage through a girl's knickers. What? Oh, what a horrible turn of phrase! Katie prefers. No idea. Her I reckon she's a 34. How does your best friend know your wife's boob size, but you don't? I reckon she's a 34. Double D. I think I'm sure she's a double D. I think so. That's probably the better one of the ones that you have. Right. Oh, goodness. Yeah. It will do, won't it? Yeah. Sam knows me fairly well, but he also knows that I can be difficult. Difficult to please, and yes. sometimes only I can get things right. Was that a euphemism there? Katie has never tried on a single wedding dress. Right. Is she going to go look at the ones that she likes? So Hayley takes her to a bespoke wedding shop. Right. But she has to stick to the rules. She can only try and not buy. Okay, so if you go to the mirror, well, this is a bespoke mirror, it's called Is that a champagne kind of colour? God, I'm gorgeous! <laughs> we have to remember, though, I'm not buying a dress, and Sam is. How's he gonna...? Try on the worst one in the room, and then think, Oh, well, if it looks better than this! She was the one that was also dressed in the bridesmaid outfit, obviously, so... On oh, the way back from his dear. lingerie trip... So far, I really don't know how this show is going to go. It's really setting us up for this, like... How could you do this to me? Oh, what's gonna happen next, girl? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. That is all I've Oh, no. Are you having fun at the wedding planning ceremony? I might be. Oh. Sam has spotted a wedding dress shop that looks like it could Love fall me do. within his budget. Love me do. Where is that? Oh my god. I used to live on this road. <laughs> oh, how funny. On the way back from his lingerie trip, Sam has spotted a wedding dress I've shop. I've seen that, that shop. Looks Love like me it do. Could fall within his budget. I know where it is. Ah, how funny. Hello. See, they're all actually really nice so far. That's Why not... do I have a weird link to all these shows that we watch? I'm like, oh my god. Oh, that. Now I need an Asbo for Asbo team. That is nice. Right, so that one I like, and that one I also like quite a lot as well. And that one I like as well. Right. How much? That one. That yeah. one's seven nine nine. Eight hundred. That clears all your tie backs and everything. Seven nine nine. Yeah. 
Jesus. You can buy two if you want. Yeah. <laughs> she could have two dresses for you. Well, she she wanted one for the, to, uh, didn't she? Yeah. 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 I mean, we start from about two fifty. The rest of the range that we carry between six nine nine and, and nine fifty. I've been going to the wrong wedding shops. I tell you. <laughs> Honestly, it's been two grand upwards. <gasps> it's gorgeous. That is That's not the attitude to have, though, I don't think. Is it? I don't know, because I'm a bit like, you know, save the money, buy a house. But I'm also like, if it's my responsibility to make sure somebody else feels nice, I'm going to want to put in the extra effort, especially if it's my significant other. I'd want to go for the slightly better option just for that feeling. I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, no, I saw one for two grand, but I actually went with the one with 650 because it's cheaper. No. Romantic garden dress. That one is your evening big gown. Wow. Oh, I need to be spoiled sparkly, on my wedding day. There you go, see, she wants it's to be spoiled. It's my one and only wedding day. And if anybody accuses me of being spoiled, <laughs> why can't I go get spoiled on their wedding day? But that's I want lovely. two dresses. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me. Fascinating. Oh, yeah, mm. that's nice. Right, possible bridezilla in the making. I like. It's just a little bit different. A it bit, is actually. Wow, it's something that nobody would expect her to turn up in. Mm. No, um, it's a bit because every dress, lot, though. actually. No, you know, every girl wants to bring in their way. Cinderella and, and an Elon would always do that. I'm not hoping too much, which is is really awful because the one thing that matters to me above anything else is is the wedding dress. That's going to make or break the day. For and me. she knows if I she's feel like a million dollars. If he's if he's messed up in any way on other things, it will matter less. Mm. And if, if I feel like I look bad, then it doesn't matter how right everything else is, my day will be ruined. The tea will be spilt. Spill that tea! Right. I'm stand on here because I'm going flat. Oh, oh she's, right, I got she's, you, fair enough. And, and this is pre also a model. alterations, okay? Yeah. That's nice. I'm just going to stand up and have a little look around if that's all right. It's all right. Feel free to pull the train out. It's looking good, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> you look no, relieved. I am, actually, yeah. <laughs> I think Kate would look gorgeous in that, wouldn't you? It is very nice. If she's bigger on top as, as well, we'll mm. zip it out. It's not as, like, <laughs> I don't big. think Katie will be too fussed about the cost and stuff. Cos you've been saying, oh, that's that's great, it's half the price of the other one. Do you think Kate might take offence a bit to that? Yes. No. Oh. In my she eyes, mind when I, uh, when I get, buy a, get a deal at Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you like the style, you buy it. Yeah. I'll have it. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh! At £799, Sam's dress is fantastic value. Right. But only if Katie likes it. Yes. <laughs> I'm really, really... I can't believe I used to live on this road. That's so funny. I'm really talking myself. What a wedding dress. It's absolutely fantastic. She's gonna die. Katie has no idea how Sam is doing. Do you think she? The does arrival she get, like, of her invitation is the only clue Katie? that she's likely to get. Oh, she's got We've an invitation to her own wedding. What do you reckon these are, Katie? To preserve the element of surprise, Sam has removed all the important details. Oh, look at the state of that ribbon. Ugh. Oh my God. Question mark, on, question mark, at, question mark. The reception will follow in, question mark. Do you like the invites, Katie? No. They're a bit plain, aren't they? Now she's holding it. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit minimal, aren't they? Mm. He's made them himself by the looks of it. <laughs> Doesn't mean I have to like them, does it? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's very big. I'm a bit worried about this invite. It's not exactly Rococo, is it? I was, ju I was just about to say that. It's not a Rococo-inspired invite, is it? No, it's very card factory. That is really modern. It's minimalistic. It? I think it's just a bit... I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, I, don't I am. Chosen to make it chosen That tells me it's a very modern... Is the drama kicking in? Wedding. I could do not do this. The I love my boyfriend, but I could not day? do this. How can it not? For me, when you get an invitation, it it's telling you about the style of the day, and this is a modern, minimalistic yeah. invitation. She's got. A that point. is not my dream day. So who's he pleasing? Is he getting married to someone else? <laughs> I'm actually quite worried. My dress is going to be quite modern and trendy now. I really don't know what to say. Actually, I, I kind of wish I hadn't seen her. Oh, no. 
the arrival of the- Oh, drama, but you did agree to this, so. That she's not in control. She's worried, she's, she's worried. <sighs> because I'm just not replying to messages. She's not hearing me, she's not hearing me every day. She's not, Baby. you know, she's not seeing me. She should be right worried now, though. I'm really worried that the whole day is just gonna be nothing like how I imagined it to be. And he's- I will say my sympathy does have like a limit because I am like, you have agreed to go on TV and you fully knew you were putting him in charge. And I can't believe you don't know the person that you've been engaged to or living with for this long. But then again, your fiance has also been like, what? What do you mean she likes that? I don't know. Who? <laughs> Picked a completely different style and he's, he has no idea of what I want. I'd much rather ring, but I'm not allowed to ring her. No. I can't talk to her. Not so. allowed. Stop being no day. I'd be so disappointed if the wedding's nothing like I imagined. I mean, getting television crew involved, maybe it had a bit of a pull. It's like, oh, mine's gonna be televised. Oh, that's not fun, is it? No one likes to feel like that. Oh, here we go. He's a kitchen fitter, isn't he? So he's in his little Citroen Bilingo. Katie aren't Sam's only problem. He's taking Eddie to Ragley Hall to finalize the details, but he's forgotten to budget for VAT. The total bill for his venue hire and food has come in at 800 pounds more than he was expecting. Why? There's nothing hidden with our costs, Sam. No. I, I never, I quoted you the prices as I would quote anyway. Yeah. All our quotes, prices are plus VAT. Anything I quote no, to you was plus VAT. I, didn't, I just didn't realise that. I obviously didn't get told that because his budget was £3,000. £3, you knew his budget was £3,000 and that was it. Basically, what I'm going to need to do now, though, obviously, is save money elsewhere, really. I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to be able to afford a sit down meal for everyone. The thing is, he's already saved you once it was gonna be five and you would have had to have just said no oh always read the fine print sis always but also i do kind of agree that if he said his budget is three grand and you've gone yeah we can do it for three grand plus vat that's a bit naughty so i i can understand a level of frustration here i would probably feel a little bit scammed i'd be like wait what didn't you say what Death. what about barbecues instead Bibiquage. you can have a barbecue but again it... it's not traditional but i mean i think that it's um Probably going to be a bit disappointing for your guests to have a barbecue. Oh, I don't know. I know you're trying to save money, but <sighs> do you know what I mean it's Katie's biggest yeah. day of her life, and I think you do need a sit-down meal. We've done it as cheap as we possibly barbecue. can for you to help you out. But I can't, I can't pay the staff any less. I can't have any less staff off. We wouldn't have any less on. I can't give you cheaper tables, cheaper linen, cheaper crockery. I wouldn't do that to you. What linen have you got, just out of interest? It's our own, it's our own linen. What colour? It's white. White? Yeah, white linen. I'm going to need to dress the table. But again, you're going to push your budgets doing that. Yeah, well... But, but were you prepared to push your budgets that way, but not push your budgets on things like food and service? No, that's the thing, see. But I don't understand where you... For me, that's, that's not, not... I suppose we've got different priorities, haven't we? We have, yeah. <laughs> you can say that again, sis. I don't mm. think I can do any more for you there. I've no he's idea trying. what he's going to do about money. I think he's going to... I think he's got to try and prioritise a bit better. So it is abs this show is absolutely setting us up to watch a train wreck, really, at this point, aren't they? I said car accident, now it's going to be more of a train wreck. I can imagine behind the scenes, all of the producers are like, this is gold dust TV, and everyone's going to be like, how could this man be like this? How could he be like this? What's going to happen next, girl? Met cuts on the less important things. But what are the, the less important things? The pressure is on. With two weeks to go, Sam's VAT crisis has pushed his overspend to £2,300 and Katie's texts are taking on an alarming tone. Oh dear. The messages I'm getting Divorce. Katie, she's not really unsure about the whole thing. So, uh, I'm sure she's not really, I don't know. She might be. Is she like, I'm leaving you? She's got like doubts about weddings and getting married now. She's coming up with things like, oh no, she'll be really be getting married and... What? Yeah, what is that? What is that? Well, what did you what think was gonna happen? Sam and I are getting married for the right reasons and we should be getting married. <gasps> and we're going to be happy. I've got her. She's stressing me out a bit now and then I've got the wedding stressing me out as well. Well, this so is how other people to, deal uh, with it. How can I make her know that I love her to bits? By making... <laughs> Not by making handmade... Indeed, comes up with an emergency cards. plan. He and Sam will go up to Leicester to visit the girls and try to allay Katie's fears in person. Okay. In his same outfit that he's worn all week. 
Surprise! <laughs> How are you doing? Where were you? <laughs> so, why was I getting so many horrible texts? Because you're ignoring me and you think that you're the only one who's got any stress. <laughs> it's just we're not allowed to talk, are we? And it's like... I wasn't ignoring you. I was getting your texts and I was reading them. <laughs> no, okay. I, but I, you know, You're an I was, asshole. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, okay, no. I one. hate you. I know, yeah. <laughs> so, how do I you apply to that? You apply to me, I'm not going to marry you. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> do I got two dresses? I'm not commenting on anything like that. That's starting to get too detailed. Not allowed. No. Oh. No wonder you're thinking about the wedding, the wedding, the wedding, because I've put you under so much pressure to do it right. Well, yes. Might, yeah. <laughs> yes, you have. Surely that's the point. <clears throat> you get in the wedding I'm making for you. What a weird layout to this room. All right, she's fade away the next day, back at the hacienda. But unless Sam gets his budget under control, the wedding day could still be a disaster. Is he going to play his piano? I'm going to get this wedding to work. I'm going to have to just cut back somewhere, aren't I? I can't go over budget. I've not got the money there to go over budget. Oh, so it's a hard line budget. So I've, I've got to stick to this budget. I've got no option. I've not got any money hiding anywhere that I can use. But what are you spending the money on? It can't be like no decorations, no food. I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. Is there just like a secret cost here that's just like, oh, the diamond elephant for my own shoe, 8,000 pounds. Can't possibly get rid of that. As well as cutting back on cars, cakes, suits and entertainment, <gasps> a wedding Sam cake. finally abandons his plans for an evening barbecue. He's had to compromise, but he's back on budget and back on track. Wait, I can't what? do it. I can do it with that, definitely. So his barbecue was literally like eight grand. Hey! Oh, I, I, I'm glad I'm not involved. Oh. But trans women are the problem. Hey! Right. They have suits on there. Nice. Yeah, this way, Oscar. A little bath for the kitty. One week to go, and it's all. Oh, champagne in the bath for the cat. Thinks Katie will expect a theme, and so far he hasn't got one. I found a first dance meeting, and it's in Moulin Rouge. It's at your song or something, I think it's called. Um, so that'd be perfect for the first dance. And I thought, while I'm at it, Moulin Rouge would be absolutely perfect for the whole theme, I reckon. And do you think Katie will like it? I think she'll be quite impressed with it, if I can pull it off. Right, but <laughs> the Moulin Rouge theme is literally a hooker house. That's kind of the point. Right, OK, how is he going to make this glamorous? He'd like to put a bottle of absinthe on every table, but at £25 a pop, he can't afford it. I mean, sure. OK, 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 I'm going to hold my tongue because obviously the Green Fairy has a big thing as a song and an entire scene about absinthe in the Moulin Rouge. It's the day before the wedding. I used to live there! And the moment that Katie has been dreading. How funny. I've she finally that gets to try on the dress Sam has chosen for right, her. Right, I see. This Ooh. is kind of the crunch point for me. This is... Oh, she gets to try on the dress. It's going to affect how tomorrow goes completely. Right. Is it going to be good? It seemed a lot more full on the hanger than it did when Hello. she was wearing it. Hi, Katie. How Hi. Are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Bit nervous. Don't lose. Don't so nervous. You'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sharon. Hi, I'm Hi, Hayley. Uh... You're shaking, Katie. I know. Stop. <clears throat> okay, it's not pink. Okay. You okay? All right. I'm going to need to try that on. Yes. <laughs> Is it what you expected? Not exactly, no. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Are we going to have some tears? Is there going to be some tea spilt? It's a beautiful dress, but I'm not sure she would have chosen it. Oh, dear. I haven't seen it yet, so... And you haven't got shoes spilt. Feel free to pick it up. And let's stand on it. Let's stand on it. Oh, well, I mean, it's it quite... Right, right. Volume. That top is it? really pretty. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of skirt, and there's a lot of my shoulders and fat bits. It's not necessarily what you would have picked, but has he done a really 
bad job. Oh, come on, answer this. I can't Don't look at myself that. at the moment because of that. Well, let's put something on. See, how do you not know some of your partner's insecurities? How do you not know that? How would you feel? How would you not know how would you feel? This is the thing of being like, well, budget, 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 budget. 600 pounds budget. I can't look at myself in it. Oh, well, let's put, thing. put a wrap on and see what's, what we can do, yeah? Divorce. Yes. Right, That's there's, what there's we can a, do. Wrap her up in divorce. That we can do. Also, I feel quite sorry for this like bridal owning woman who must have been like, oh, here you go. And she's like, I hate it. And you're like, oh, that one is my, one of my loveliest dresses. Thank you. Awkward. Is she being a bridezilla? I don't know. It's a bit of a question mark for me because I feel like bridezillas are specifically difficult. They're not unexpectedly surprised, so to speak. Okay. Right, let's see. Oh, here we go, the girls. The are too busy with final details to worry about Katie. Is he? We've got, got two Katie. and a half hours to get, get to Warwickshire. What is it? That's cutting it fine, you know. That is cutting it fine. And you're saying we'll be all right. We're all there. We're all there. What is that? That's his favourite thing. They have saying, to be at we'll Raggy right. Hall by four o'clock to decorate the tables. Also, has this man just taken, like, a full week off work to help his best friend? <laughs> Plan a widget. There's nothing that is going to make me like this dress. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. But what did I say? I said that I wanted him to like the way I looked on my wedding day. But you've also got to feel comfortable. Oh yeah, but boys don't really care. Like that's why they're like, oh, put on this Amazon lingerie. <laughs> oh, I love it. The hottest you've ever looked. It's like, <laughs> thanks. Do you sell a lot of these dresses? It's very, very popular. For the very fact that if you look in the mirror there, your stomach is completely flat. Being longer in the body, it makes you look taller and slimmer. So everybody's got one, have they? You're not everybody. <sighs> oh, that poor wedding woman. Oh, see, that's a bit bridezilla, isn't it? To be like, well, everyone's got one, have they? That's a bridezilla comment. What you didn't want. <laughs> I can't believe I know where this shop is. I could just go in and see Sharon and be like, hello, I saw you, I can interview you. And you better love me forever. Oh. And you better never leave me. Oh. It's the only wedding day. This dress is so much. Mm. That's why I'm not even happy with the back of it, because it's just yet more. There's no, it's not classy, it's not subtle. It isn't subtle, I'll give her that. Oh, oh the level I of can't stress. Wear it. Let me ring him. So, yeah. oh. oh it's Hayley. Hello? Sam, it's Hayley. How are you doing, Hayley? You alright? Yeah, I'm good, cheers. Um, I'm in the wedding dress shop with Katie. All right, OK. And I want to ask you a question and I want you to answer me honestly. <gasps> OK. How would you feel if she wanted to change the dress? <sighs> Are you kidding me? Does she not like it? No. <coughs> really? Really. Well, oh, look! What does the hens have come home to Really? Oh, really? dear. Should have paid attention to what your wife likes for I a year. I wouldn't be asking you, Sam, unless it was this important. Well... I feel a bit sick. We don't have a choice, then, really, do we? I mean, I don't want... If I pick the wrong dress, and. But he's already she's on his way to, like, she, Warwick. She feels that she's upsetting you by not liking no, it. I mean, I'm, I'm gutted about myself for getting the wrong dress, to be honest with you. That's what I'm gutted about. Would you be happier if she chose a different dress and she was happy? I'd be better. I'd be happier if she was happy, definitely. There's OK, no that's that. a good answer. Okay. All right. It does kind of abscond oh, responsibility, though. Right, I'm happy if you're happy. Yeah, it means okay, I, I don't I'll know. I'll talk to you later. Bye. 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 B
you later. All right, cheers. Okay. All right, then. Stress, Bye. stress, stress. Bye. More stress, because you can't plan. No! <gasps> <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I'm not this woman. He's gutted. I trust my boyfriend. But he's gutted that he got it wrong. <sighs> he's not gutted that you don't like it. And he doesn't want you to be unhappy. Oh. And there is just one dress, isn't there? There is only one dress. You're joking. You don't like it. You want him milk? No, I'm not wanting you. Look at him in his little van. Can we talk to you through this hey, window? He just rang me. And she just said, okay. She just said, what would you say if. Katie doesn't like a dress. I think he oh. seems more stressed than the Oblivious to Sam's budget, Katie's solution is to choose a new dress. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That one? No. Sam was obviously on a budget. And I don't know if there's a difference in prices. The problem that we've got is that the other dress has been altered. Right. So it's basically an, an unsaleable dress. Oh my God! Hey, Lee, give me some good news, please. No. Oh, I don't really have much, I'm afraid. Um, the dress that, that you've picked, we do have to buy simply because it's been altered to fit Katie. Uh, Is there any leeway in your budget whatsoever? None. I didn't really budget in a second dress at all. I'll have to wear it in that time. At least it fits. Just give me two seconds and get a dress out. With a wedding in less than 24 hours, Sam has failed. Oh. Hey, did you like this? But Sharon might have a solution. There's one dress in the shop that might fit unaltered. <laughs> unaltered? OK. That, that is beautiful. It's gorgeous. So if I just had that sewn into that, which I can do here personally, I'm really happy to lend it to you. Lending a dress? OK, she's come through. Oh, love me do, brides. Well done, Shazza. You are very welcome. <laughs> I don't think I might have been this nice to this lady after making a spectacle in my shop and closing the whole thing down for the day, but you never know, do you? You're going to wear that one? Definitely. Oh. Is it time for the Sam wedding? Sam booked Katie into a oh, hotel wedding. near Ragley Hall. Right. They've been apart for four weeks, and tomorrow okay. they're to be married. Oh, how awful. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see it, Claire. High or it's something for all these emotions. I c I'm pretty sure that I could have got this wedding done in less than four weeks if I'd been more organised. I've got but a bit of a... So, ifs and bats of candy and nuts, we'd all be dead. Oh, I don't know, you know. You wouldn't spend Against. all this time and money on dreams if they didn't matter. This is my dream day and it's not what I dreamed it would be. There you go, T. That usually carries a bit more weight because it shows that your partner hasn't listened to your dreams and come up with a good enough plan that you're both really happy. That's the tea. That's the thing with big decisions like this, like where to buy a house, what you want your house to look like, what you want your wedding to look like, what kind of car you want to drive, any of these big, costly things in your life. If your partner is like, I don't know what you want, and we're just going to wing it, it'll all be right in the end. That alone is like a, what's the word? It like highlights deeper rooted problems in the relationship that have maybe been glossed over a little bit, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Some people kind of like that free range, but also, some people don't. The VAT free wedding day. Imagine. That is quite After a scam, After four actually. weeks of separation, a bill of 14 grand and chronic wedding jitters. God, what a horrible day. <laughs> and it's raining. Of course it is. It's Britain, what did you expect? Where did the cake? With Moulin Rouge theme and homemade decorations, will Friday the 13th be lucky for Sam? Oh, red chairs. This she morning I woke up red chairs. I sick. <laughs> I really did. I felt really sick and shaking. Wait, so oh. she wanted a silver and white wedding and he's gone with absinthe green and red Moulin Rouge in a Rococo theme. I mean, I guess at least the absinthe does, like the absinthe and the Moulin Rouge kind of does. No, it's not Rococo at all, actually, is it? No, it's more like turn of the 1900s. She's educated. No. I'm getting nervous all of a sudden. I don't know. I don't oh know why. Oh dear. <laughs> Man. I can't believe we're getting changed in the toilet with the film crew in it. Right? This is turning into a very different type of video. Did they hire a makeup artist for her? I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life. <laughs> Who's this lady? Hello. Miscellaneous Lady A. 
Okay, enough crying. Yeah. Gonna get the makeup done. Otherwise, oh, we're see. gonna be She's late as well, artist. and then it'll be really embarrassing. And you'll be crying and late, and that's no good. Yeah, you're okay. right. Mm. Nobody wants oh, to be crying and three. late. Except me! Uh, is that it? Is that what it's supposed to look like? <laughs> Do you like? <laughs> Are you all feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're great. You're looking gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you very much. So are you. So, oh, he likes, oh he's gone for the right ones. Do you know what I know he's done as well, which I think is really sweet. What? He didn't want me to be out blinged by anybody, so he's got you something all quite plain. <laughs> Sure, get that vibe. The okay. boys are ready, it's your day. guests are arriving, and it's Katie's turn to run late. It's very red, though, isn't it? Oh, running late, no say. Oh, she does look nice, very nice. Oh, where's the music? It's good. Just needs to be a little bit back. Am I going to have to sing? Oh, she wanted white flowers. I feel didn't fat. She? That's good. Do you know this what? Works. We need to get you married. Come on, girlie, time to ready? get married. Yeah. Come on, then. Da, da. Am I going to have to do... Is this very copyright music, do you think? Wedding music. What's wedding? Da, da, da. No, that's not wedding. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Put a wig on your biscuit. Look at the water, so my mouth is dry. Breath freshener. Oh, good lad. Oh, his suit looks kind of fun. A red rose for a red woman. Hello. Katie sees the 18th century splendour of Ragley Hall for the first time. Whose cars are they? Did he order the car? <laughs> oh. Okay, that's a bit, that seems like the venue works. He's like, oh, why does it cost so much money? <laughs> oh, weddings. Oh, LGBT. Here comes the hurricane, bitch. <laughs> oh, the lady is arriving any seconds. Here she is, a lady. Right. Oh, that's a nice little necklace. A necklace, some might say. Sharon, Shara, Sha Shazza came through with that dress, didn't she? Yes. Good old Shaz. Don't turn around, she's right behind you. Pantomime. I just realised if you own a stately home, it's just literally like licensed to print money, isn't it? Just like, just come and stand in this room for a while whilst people take photos of you. Five grand. What a bargain. Wait, isn't the reveal? Is there not a reveal? Most of the ones I've been to, there's a reveal. You're not like shuffled whispering and giggling. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. She's dead. Marriage is He's a desire panicked. He's by like, two ah! people to share themselves with each other and a willingness to accept each other for who they are. Oh, Remembering to sometimes she is. allow for just a little less than perfection. Don't say that in a wedding vow. Katie, I give right, you this yeah, thing. Just be as a crap. token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And a symbol of our love. And a symbol of our love. It's now with very great pleasure that I'm able to state that you are now lawfully husband and wife. Oh. And you may now kiss the bride. No, oh, don't bother. No, you'll ruin her long last lip. <laughs> Oh, children. I felt immensely proud. Okay. And really pleased for her. So far, so good. I think he did brilliantly for a man. <laughs> oh, but that's not the but, point. Um, there's no going back. She's married to him now. Ladies and gentlemen, and groom, Katie and Sam. Right. Did she like the Moulin Rouge themed um, dressing tables? Table dressing. Everybody clap, everybody scream. Ah! She's just done everything right. I was sort of like scratching my head a bit about the colour of the flowers compared to the colour of the men's seats compared to the colour of the bridesmaids. And I was like, but I just thought, 
but the men look fantastic and my bridesmaids look fantastic and the flowers are stunning. Stunning. And I just thought, God, you know, maybe I would have spent too long matching the bloody colours, you know what I'm saying? There you go. OK. <laughs> Not a bridezilla <laughs> at all. I've got all. One, one final surprise to my beautiful wife over there. Are you going to sing? Time for a brow lift. Oh! <laughs> Not really appropriate for children. I thought the can can dancers were fantastic. She likes I wanted to pull out some surprises and stuff in my day. Um, I don't think I'd have thought of that. I think that was. Am I actually going to say this? I think that was better than I could have done. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's cute. Okay, that's quite nice. Yes. Oh yes, I see what she means about things don't matter. But that's not always. Da 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 da. She's got gout bubbles. I do feel like I'm more of a person, I guess. The fact that I've been able to pull this off so far. More of a person. All them people in there are enjoying themselves. I You're can't more wish of a person. Ah oh, da 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 da. She's got gout. There we go. Okay, I've got some thoughts, my loves. What an adventure in emotions this episode has been, my lovelies. I'm actually quite glad that I've decided to do this show because that was bonk diddly onkers from start to finish. I very much had the opinion going into this show that this show is one of those ones that sort of kind of taps into male incompetence, like weaponized male incompetence, that kind of thing of it's like, well, it'll be all right in the end because I don't have to do nothing. Everybody else has to do something. And therefore I think it'll be all right in the end because I don't do nothing, everybody else does. That kind of male energy that's just like, what are you doing? Please take an active role in your life. I think this episode kind of showed Sam's inability to have listened to his wife for a year in the planning stages. Like if someone in my life was trying to plan something for me, an event or whatever, and they can't get who I am from knowing me for so so long. Like, I only wear black, and if they were like, oh my god, we put you in this pink dress, I'd be like, no. There's a reason why this show has gone on for two decades, and it's simply because the producers loved every second of it. Like, literally watching someone try and plan something that they've never ever had to do before, been given a massive budget to do so, but then also realizing how much things cost, the weight of things, how much time is taken, and also having to like DIY a few things. It is gold dust drama TV, isn't it? The ending of this episode was a bit more exciting and uplifting. I think Katie came across very nice and humble at the end, like she didn't have a bridezilla breakdown, she didn't have a scream. She was just kind of like, it didn't match. It's not the end of the world. I still love him. I do kind of love the fact that the bridesmaid was like, well, she's married him now. You know, I think that's a very telling sentence. I feel like the earlier part of this episode was where the emotional roller coaster started to happen, where they were separated and you started to see the cracks in like, oh no, I really don't trust you making these decisions. I've been unhappy with every single outcome so far. That is gold dust TV and it does something to me. And I'm just like, I can't wait to watch the rest of this series and hope that we see some men, at least some men that have at least listened to their wives and understand what their favorite color is, what their color scheme they want is, you know, I don't know. It's just a case of listen to your partners. And with that, my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode of Don't Tell the Bride in the comments box below because, oh, my goodness me, I'm going to a comedy event now. <laughs> and with that, my loves, it's time for their Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can. If you'd like to be a part of the Patreon and provide a little bit of extra support for her, the Chanel right here, my lovelies, click the link in the description box below and you can see all the rewards listed over there. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Ari Adia X, Becky Johnson, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Worsham, Eric Eric Castillo, Finn Dunham, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larry Lane, Leanne Jones, Les Banana, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Miss Kiss, Novembrix, Paola Rivera, Ryan Vita, Steph Utech, The Chaos Collective, Vicky Walsh, and Victoria Carella. And you know what, my lovelies? I'm gonna leave it on the note of make sure you read the fine print. Nobody wants a horrible shock, do they? Uh, no. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. <sighs> That was a lovely party, wasn't it? No! Have you all had fun? No!